This problem, we're trying to find the solution to the equation x squared minus 6x equals 0. Well, here, um, we want to factor out x. It's a common factor. So we have x times x minus 6, and that equals 0. And now what this means is that x could equal 0, right? Because we're multiplying x by this number here, and they're telling us that the answer is 0. So the zero product property tells us that if you're multiplying two things and you're getting zero, well then one of them has to be zero, or the other has to be zero, or they both have to be zero. So here we're multiplying these two things and getting zero. So x could be zero, but also x minus six could equal zero. Add six to both sides and x could also equal six. And you could try it. If you plug both of these into the equation here, you will get zero, right? So the choice, the answer is choice three. Okay.